Jaya, what is the greatest gift that a man can give to a woman? We are going to look a little bit at relationship and sex dynamics, especially when men are relating to women. You know, what is it that women expect the most from a man? What is it that is going to open them up? and bring them to a state of relaxation or beauty or resonance, okay? So you might have your own set of ideas, that's perfect. Please post in the comments if you have other insights and other ideas about what is the greatest gift that a man can give to a woman, okay? It's not a bunch of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> that might work too, but I mean on, on something more subtle. So one of the things that women tend to want a lot, and I hear that in coaching sessions, I hear that in tantra sessions, I'm, I'm hearing the feedback from women, it is that they complain about men not being able to be present. They get distracted. It means that a woman will be sharing something, right? Enter into this state of vulnerability. If you're a woman, you might recognize that you are in this state of vulnerability and you have you know tears coming to your eyes and you're sharing something that is really profound it might be uh, you know some pain or you might be intense or enraged by something and that man is going to be there and instead of just receiving witnessing holding space for your experience he's going to try to direct your experience try to fix you try to tell you you should feel something else that uh, your feeling or your emotion is inappropriate that is not going to help you that you should get out of that state so basically the man will have that this reaction of wanting to rescue or wanting to create um to to come in with self referring uh examples oh yeah i experienced the same yeah it reminds me when i was a kid no 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 you know so you bring back the attention to yourself no 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 just pause for a second this is very very important because it can completely radically change the dynamics that you might have with women in your life and you as a woman you might recognize that imagine that you can share whatever you want and the man is there just witnessing that and says i hear you baby I hear what you're saying. Yes, I understand. Yes, it hurts. I can imagine it hurts. And just stay there, present. It's not like, oh, here's what I suggest. Here's what you can do about it. Why don't you try that? Oh, you should come. Let's go for a walk. You know, it's like take you out of the state. No, no, no. There is a gift in being that presence of that emotion, of that discomfort or that pain. There is a tremendous gift because once you start observing it, from within instead of trying to run away from it and you have a man in your life who is able to hold that space it's just so magical so there is tremendous beauty in that and as a man there are lots of things that you can do to hold that space and uh, one of them is stay present eye contact don't get distracted on your cell phone don't try to run away from the experience just stay present with that woman that you love and it can be just a friend, it can be your mother, it can be a sister, a daughter, it can be a child, and it's, it can be something that you do with other human beings as well, you know, not just women, it can be with men as well. Just staying present and witnessing and offering sympathy, compassion. That's it, it's very simple. So what it means as well for women when you're able to do that, it means that they feel accepted. <laughs> They feel seen. Imagine you have this girlfriend who shares something that is really vulnerable, like some traumatic experience that she had in the past. And you go like, wow, oh my God, that's intense. You know, have you tried therapy? You know, have you, have you tried to do something about that? You know, and the woman says, oh, I tried everything, but right now just let me be in the presence in, the, in that moment. So what is she's asking? deeply is like she's asking for you to look at her and to see her she's asking for acceptance it's very important to understand that if you look at a woman and you just love the beauty and the the, the parts that are really easy to love you know <laughs> that's great that's a beautiful way of loving but it's only half the story once she starts ref revealing the the parts of her that are more challenging to love you know like for instance she she gets emotional she gets intense she starts attacking you she starts blaming or she starts fighting with people you know when you are there and you hold that space and you say i'm with you i trust you 
I'm on your side, right here. Okay, this is presence, this is acceptance. A woman wants to be loved for all aspects of her being. Not just the pretty one, not just the light, not just the, the beauty. It's like there is shadow there. And once you start hitting the shadows, once you start seeing, you know, usually if you have been dating after a three months period, after three months of romantic time, you know, you, you, you start seeing this, this, this woman and you go like, wow, you know, now, now I see your true nature. <laughs> no, it's like now I know who you really are. Wow, you're really aggressive and um, you don't tolerate other people's mistakes and so on. No, it's like this woman comes into your field and once you, you know, you created this field of resonance in the romantic field that's beautiful, then she starts hitting you or hitting uh, your, your space with some shadow aspects. And so once she reveals that to you, you can be like, okay, wow, okay, I'm out of here. You run away because you expect that woman to be perfect, right? You go like, that's unacceptable. You are emotional right now and you have been way too emotional. And I, I don't have the emotional tools. I don't have the resilience. I don't have the energetic capacity to hold space for that part of you. So the only way for me to survive is to extract myself, to get out, you know, take distance from you. Because the shadow aspects that are coming out of you, I cannot stand them. I cannot either forgive you, I cannot love them, I cannot accept who you are in the full dimension of your being. So when she reveals that to you, and you go like, now I know your true nature. Now I know who you are. You go like, no, it's not the only thing. It's an aspect, you know, it's like you arrive in a new country. There is going to be lights and shadows. There is going to be things that you like, you know, the things that you don't like, the same with the business, the same with the product, the same with anything in life. And so when a woman starts revealing those aspects to you and you are able to stay present to them, you know, and you go like, wow, you've got scars, you've got wounds. You've got traumas from past experiences. And guess what? That's part of your experience. That's part of who you are. And I love the complete totality of your being. So in my experience, I, I feel that this is what women want. I mean, most women, I don't know. Give me some feedback here in the comments. If you're a woman, is this true? Would you like to be accepted for the full dimension of your being? And once you start revealing some shadows, once you start revealing vulnerabilities, how does that make you feel when a man just goes like, whoa, that's not gonna work for me, bye, I'm out of here. How does that make you feel? Would you like a man to be able to hold space for you and stay present once you start revealing different aspects of who you are? You know, how does that feel? Does that feel good? Or does that feel bad or is this irrelevant to you so if you can't resonate with that just post in the comments just tell the men in your life who are listening to this uh, watching this video that this is how you feel if this is how you feel I you know this is my instinct this is after having conversations with women over this topic this is what came up so yeah tell me what you think do you like it when a man is able to hold space for you? Does that feel good? I love you. I'll see you soon.